Hey there, and welcome to my channel if you are new, or welcome back, long time no see. I am very excited for today's video. I'm going to be playing with one of my sims that I had mentioned before that I wanted to make a let's play just for this sim, but I never got around to doing that. And I figured since I had a little time away from YouTube, this would be a great video to come back with. I know I keep apologizing for coming and going so often, but I already gave you guys the whole rundown of how there's been a lot going on in my life recently, and I'm trying to make videos whenever I can, but the summer just turned out to be way more hectic than I thought it would be, so I I really appreciate you guys for bearing with me, and I'm really excited to go ahead and get into today's video. Alright, so I'm not sure if this sim is familiar to you guys or not, but just to give a little bit of a rundown, this is Andy. She is one of the sims I used to show off the Crystal Creations pack. Um, and I always wanted to do something fun with her. And I figured this would be a great video opportunity. I feel like I've seen other simmers kind of do this where it's like what happens when you forget about your sims. But... I think I'm doing a little bit of a different twist on on that title. So in today's video, I'm just going to be playing with Andy and just having fun and showing kind of what has happened in her life since we've last seen her. She only really got the chance to show off her skills and her personality in that one little review video where I reviewed the Crystal Creations pack, um, and I just love her personality. I think she's so cute, and I think she has a lot of potential, and I put a lot of work into her, um, and then kind of just forgot about her, and we're just gonna see where life has taken her, and we're just gonna go with the flow. This is gonna be a nice, chill let's play. Yeah, this video is just going to be the perfect video to come back to YouTube. Um, I'm really excited to play with her today. So, Andy obviously is into crystals and creations that come out of crystals. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little rundown of who Andy is. So, her traits are paranoid, loves the outdoors, and practice makes perfect. She's a strong believer that she can do anything she puts her head to as long as she practices. So, she is a little bit of a paranoid sim, though, as I, I mentioned. Um, so, she kind of likes to keep to herself, and she does struggle a little bit to fully let herself into other sims lives but she does love exploring she loves getting out in the world but she mainly keeps to herself as she does so um because yeah like i said she is very paranoid but she also is a collector and she would actually be happy to have a child in the future i don't think that's something she's looking for at the moment because I mean, she's still kind of finding herself, and I mean, she hasn't even found she hasn't even found the one yet. Also, I'm just realizing she is putting all of her laundry on top of the. Um, I'm forgetting what this is called though, but she, I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> um, she isn't like the most organized or clean person, I will say, um, but her house looks pretty tidy at the moment because. She honestly just does not have that much stuff at the moment. She moved into this home and kind of has been working to renovate it with her money. Um, as for simoleons, she's doing pretty well. She's currently at 23,000 simoleons. So she's she's been working pretty hard, especially for a single sim. I think she's doing great. Um, 
especially because she has been renovating her home. She really doesn't have any family, um, at least that she, like, is aware of. So she has pretty much just been on her own. And let's go ahead and see what else we have here. She is Everyman from Major Impression Personality. So Everyman Sims just wants to belong and feel like a part of something. They lack any distinctive identity and rarely stand out. So I think she does have a very strong personality like I mentioned before, but she is very timid and paranoid, so she doesn't really like to show that. But I believe that if she... Um, if she puts her mind to it, I do think that she will really be able to stand out and make her dreams come true, which is to open her own little crystal shop. She would love to have a shop to sell her stuff because at the moment, sorry, it is night at, um, right now it's almost 10 PM, but she's just been selling outside of the front of her house, um, to go ahead and make her money off of her creations i am gonna go ahead and have her get to bed so we're gonna brush her teeth and sleep sorry this is a little bit chaotic i feel like i had a lot to catch you guys up on but here's a little view of her bathroom you guys kind of saw the rest of her house a little bit and we have her bedroom as well it is pretty maxis in her entire home um, I've been kind of switching to more of like a Maxis style. I, I definitely like the Maxis mix style, but in this home, I definitely went for more of a Maxis style. And it looks like this says that Andy will soon have her period. It's best to prepare and purchase tampons and pads to protect her from leaking menstrual blood or start using birth control pills to prevent the natural men menstrual cycle. Tampons, pads, and birth control can be ordered from a computer. All right. I think we will um, actually look into birth control all right, you guys, it is now about 5.30 a.m., and she just kind of finished getting ready for the day up bright and early this morning. I do think we're just going to go ahead and have her get something quick for breakfast. Um, maybe even we could do, like, cereal or something. I think that would be pretty easy and fast. Let's go ahead and do these honey rings for breakfast. And as soon as she's finished with breakfast, we can go ahead and head to the store because she does need to pick up some tampons and pads because she is starting her period soon and she ran out. So we need to do that. And let's see what this says. Practice makes perfect lesson. This trait helps Sims gain skills faster if they practice the same skill type, physical, social, mental, and creative consistently each day. All right, it's good to know. Maybe we will um, make a quick cup of coffee. A single cup of hibiscus tea. I feel like she would love that, honestly. So, so hopefully this tea is caffeinated because we have a long day ahead of us. So as soon as she is finished with this, then we will finally get going. We need to go to the store, but after the store... She's actually going to think about heading to the car dealership to see if they have any cheap cars for her because she does want to be able to start driving instead of taking the bus because it is honestly quite expensive when she tries to travel a lot. And also, she would just love to have a car because she wants to start like scouting out places that she can maybe rent for her little crystal shop and it would be much easier for her to be able to drive herself so looks like she is done so she's gonna go ahead and clean that up and head out all right you guys she just got to the store so let's go ahead and just pick up a Honestly, we could probably just do the multi-pack with tampons and pads. I think that would be easier. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, or we could do birth control. That's another option. Maybe we should just do that to be safe. And then we'll get this just in case. Um, but yeah, we'll do the birth control. Let's, 
let's stick with that plan because I'm not even going to lie to you guys. She does love her woohoo. I haven't mentioned it yet, but she does actually um, have the meet and mingle app and she has a little account and sometimes she meets up with people and has some woohoo. <laughs> so yeah, there's always that. We just want to be safe and take precautions. So she made it to the dealership and they handed us this catalog of what they have to offer. I know that's not really how things work, but um, here we go. <laughs> Maybe in The Sims, that's how things work. Oh, there are some cars for 7,000 simoleons. That looks like that's probably going to be the cheapest. Oh, 4,000. Honestly, that would be great. I feel like she would go with a like turquoise color like this one. Let's go ahead and do it. Yes, the Yomoshoto Evasion. And it says, the bills are overdue, and if you're late to work one more time, you'll lose your job. Life moves quickly, and the Evasion is the car to help you keep up. Featuring sensible styling, affordable elegance, and a steering wheel to control the vehicle's direction. The evasion is here to keep things extremely normal. Alright. Um, also, she did take her birth control. And it says, congratulations, Andy. You are now the proud owner of a motor vehicle. Now, all that's left to do is register your vehicle and you'll soon be ready to hit the road. She did get her license a long time ago when she turned 16, but she never actually got a car. So luckily, we already have that covered, but it did say we need to go ahead and complete our registration. And now we are all set and ready to go. So that's so fun and cute. I love it. Congratulations, Andy. You are now the proud owner of a mo Oh, I already read that. <laughs> okay um so next we do need to go ahead and take care of her little garden out here we did end up making the crystal trees i think at the end of my review i ended up doing this so let's go ahead and harvest all and i think everything else is tended to already um so yeah that's good but i'm thinking maybe we could charge some of her creations if we have any let's see i think she actually is wearing two of them um this is charged and then that's all we have at the moment i do want her to keep some of her designs so let's go ahead and design some jewelry let's see i don't know what sells more um so i guess let's just base it off of what looks cool um let's see maybe like this and then as for the metal let's just do like something basic and then maybe a ruby could look cool oh wait we don't have silver these are the ones we have okay maybe this with the ruby i think that could be pretty Let's go ahead and do that. And then it only cost us 50 simoleons, so that's nice. All right, she is busy at work making her creations. Honestly, I do love this pack. Um, I will say, like, I played, I put a lot of time into it, and I played with her for a long time, and I ended up really liking it. I didn't really get tired of it. I know it is kind of like just the same basic animation over and over again but i do think it's fun how you can really customize and you can wear them and i do like how your sim can charge their creations and then you will get different like outcomes um depending on what material you used in the creation so that's really fun and i do think making a shop for your sim to sell their creations is a super fun idea so i definitely want her to work her way up to that i don't know if we'll get there within this little episode but if you guys do enjoy her i will plan on making more episodes so i guess we'll see how this goes i do think it would be fun for her to have this inside of her shop maybe there's like a little back room 
or something where she can actually do all the all of the hard work <laughs> behind the scene type of stuff that would be nice and then it's just right there and she doesn't have to bring back and forth her creations um but let's go ahead and take a look at this wow that actually turned out really pretty I feel like she would want to wear that to be honest but let's go ahead and charge that on the crystal grid it's only 11 a.m because she did get up so early um so we probably do have some time later this evening to have her sell her things and i think they do sell for more if you um if you go ahead and charge them like this one is already charged it says uh charge remaining two days and if charged the career and school school chance cards are more likely to succeed um, what does this mean? The cut gemstone? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. These are cool, too. Oh, wow, look, it's like a little gnome or something. We should do one of these. I think people like towers, so let's go ahead and do that. And a plumbite tower? Let's, let's go ahead and do that one. Since I already did a lot of this animation in the little review video i probably won't show too much of this but i do want her to make a few items so i'll probably speed past that and then we'll see how her selling goes or maybe we should just keep it um but we need enough money to buy a place so i'm not sure maybe she should take her new car to go look at some places she definitely has one in mind she does need to go there and see if it's actually worth it or not so maybe we'll do that after she's done creating okay you guys so it is actually the next day i went ahead and just let andy spend the rest of yesterday creating all of these creations she was hard at work and she was just in a really good mood so i figured why not um, and today we're gonna go ahead and spend the afternoon trying to sell because she was looking online at the listing that I was telling you guys. She is pretty, ooh, hang on. I don't know which one. I think we should try 300% and see if anyone does it. We'll see how that goes. I know that's, that's, uh, I know that's risky, but we'll go ahead and just try it but yeah she was looking at the listing that she's interested in renting it would be like very perfect for her it's not very far it's like the next town over probably about like 20 to 30 minute drive but it would be such a perfect place for her to rent um but she does not have enough money yet and she doesn't know if she'd be able to get a loan so she figured she should try to sell as much as possible before attempting to buy because she would probably have a better chance um, if she just starts with more money. So, let's see. Hi, lovely people. Would you like to buy our creations? Like, they're so stylish, just like us. I know you would love them. Everyone's leaving. Maybe I should try 200% because everyone's leaving. Okay, we have a, a potential buyer. And a second, okay. Now everyone's interested in again because I lowered the prices. <laughs> I feel like last time I did up the prices. Oh my gosh, $1,200, you guys, just like that. <gasps> See, it's for <gasps> $2,500. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, girl. <laughs> I was going to say, last time I think I did up the prices and it actually worked. Like, it was set pretty high. Um, Maybe not as many. They don't sell as quickly, but it really pays off because you get a lot of simoleons. <laughs> okay, it's getting really late. It's already 9 p.m. <gasps> did he just take that from us or did he buy it? I saw no simoleons come into our account. And look, she's so sad. All right, you guys. I think we are going to go ahead and wrap it up. Oh, there's... Wait, did she come back to buy something? 
Okay, maybe next, the next time everyone leaves. New personality trait. Andy feels being proper is very important to her and seems to be spending more time on herself. Embrace the change. Sure. Andy has discovered a new personality trait, proper. Learn more about this new trait in the traits section of the Somology panel. Okay. Give us sales. Let's go ahead and give sales pitch to everyone. Okay, 726. That's something. Oh, you look like you have money. Hello, Miss Lily. Our yard sale is almost over. Let's try to get someone to buy something. Oh, it's over. Oh, no. Okay. Well, let's clear the table. We can try again in the morning. All right, you guys. It is about 6 a.m. And look at this gorgeous sunrise this morning. Andy is out here working hard per usual. She just made some earrings. And now she's working on cutting... A gemstone so pretty let's go ahead and put these right into our inventory let's go ahead and spray for bugs and harvest and all of the good stuff and then we should probably get a little bite to eat before we start selling again okay unfortunately her dryer broke so we will be losing out on some money today but hopefully it won't be too costly let's go ahead and stock the table and then we can tend to it it is super hot again today and i'm not really sure how much business we will get because of that but she's looking forward to hopefully making some decent simoleons today we did stick with the 200 percent markup price so hopefully that works in our favor once again let's go ahead and give a sales pitch and maybe a respectful introduction and we'll do the same to her as well yay we just earned another 500 simoleons a lot of people are just kind of hanging out and not really buying anything probably because i started a conversation with them <laughs> maybe i should stop that <gasps> did you guys just see the butterfly that was so pretty oh yeah that's why they're sticking around 2400 nice uh, would you like to take part in a mating ritual involving at least you and me? Uh, <laughs> you do look like a suitable mate. Let's do it. There's a possibility of more people. Sign me in. Mating with you doesn't seem beneficial, so no. It's not mating season just yet. <laughs> okay um i'm gonna go ahead and have her do this because she's a bit of a paranoid sim she really needs to get to know someone first like at least take her out on a date you know what i mean yeah there was no time for that sir you kind of just came out of nowhere let's go ahead and start our yard sale again because it did end he uh really doesn't want to give up Andy has contracted an illness. It seems to be a fairly severe case, so in addition to resting and drinking some orange juice or tea, she should definitely make a trip to the doctor and take some medicine in the meantime. Oh boy, that is not good. Alright, so we only need about 10 more thousand for her to be able to afford the place, but I do think maybe she could get some loans instead. Um because we that if we did just like out of pocket buy this place like with the deposit and everything and then the first month's rent we would not have any money left over so i don't think that would be smart so she definitely needs some jewelry to start her little business with um so let's go ahead and make a few things and We'll probably go tomorrow to try and buy, or I guess rent, the little shop. Oh my gosh, you guys, she just maxed the skill of gemology. Andy has mastered gemology. She can now craft jewelry and gemstones at record-breaking speeds and can design plumbob jewelry and cut gnome-shaped gemstones at the gemology table. 
wow that's so exciting she's officially an expert she has mastered the skill that's actually crazy after this one though i do think she'll head to bed because we have a really big day ahead of us tomorrow okay you guys she has to make a little phone call to go ahead and confirm everything with the bank but it seems like she is going to get a loan for 23,000 simoleons so that will be the perfect amount to go ahead and be able to rent this place with the deposit and get it all set up and ready we do have this rent as well for our home so we have to keep that in mind it is about 1800 simoleons so we have to keep that in mind but it looks like we are good to go so let's go ahead and get in the car and head over to our new rental Alrighty, we are here at andy's brand new shop this is actually crazy and i did not think we would be getting to this point in this episode but i will say i don't think we will open in this episode so let me know if you guys want to see more from andy and if so then i guess we'll have a little retail let's play going but anyways this is what her building looks like she did bring her little car so i haven't quite figured it all out yet but um i will say this is like a multi um like functional space so the only part that's actually andy's shop is this little square and then there is a vet's office um right next to us and then there's two different entrances we have this one right here to an apartment which is above our little shop and it's actually a really decent size and then there is also an entrance at the back for a second apartment which is a way smaller it's almost a studio but i think it is actually a one bedroom um but yeah so a lot can be done with this lot. I think I found it on the gallery. It is definitely from the gallery. It's called the Ragdoll Refurb and it's by Floor AIO. I don't know how exactly to say that, but it's F L O R A I I O. All right. So, with that being said, I do apologize if you guys hear my cat in the background. He's going nuts, but I don't want to stop him from playing. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and give a little rundown of what Andy did financially. So basically, I don't have the loan mod in my game. I think it's like the SimCity loan mod, um, but I do have the SNB bank mod. And next time I play, I will put the loan mod in my game. But besides the point... She started with 34,000, basically. It was 34,224, and this is quick math, so I don't know if I even did this right, um, and I know for a fact it's not realistic, but we're just going with it. I think I said she got a loan for 23,000. I did not mean 23,000. I meant 2,300, so 2,300 simoleons, and so... That gave her a grand total of 36,524 simoleons. So her rent each month for this shop, I'm going to go ahead and play so she's not just doing nothing, but the rent is going to be 1,800 a month and the deposit she had to make was 2,700. So that puts her, well, and she made a little transaction to put money into her business account and that was 2500 so that puts her at seven thousand dollars put into this first initial payment for her business and so thirty six thousand five hundred and twenty four, which is what she had after the loan was brought us to 29,524 simoleons after deducting the 7,000. Sorry, that was a lot, but just so we're clear, because I do want to play this fair and I don't want to use cheats, um, so now 
we have that total in her household fund and I'm going to separate it because she does have a checking and a savings account. I'm going to do like, mm, I don't want to say 50-50. I want to put more in her savings account, but we will figure that out soon. But before that, I do want to actually get some items set up. Not that we're going to open today, but I don't want to say she came here for nothing. So... I don't really know what her best items are. I still haven't really like taken the time to figure that out. But we have this really pretty piece and oh wow, you can like put multiple. We could put four different sets of earrings there. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I can just like put this on the mannequin. I'm not sure if I could do that or not. Um, maybe if I, like, create an outfit, that would be pretty cool, but I guess we won't really do that at the moment. Um, maybe we could have a little area for the gemstones. So, we have this one. I wish they were smaller, um, but they're not, so <laughs> we have those two, and then maybe we can do this as the centerpiece and like that maybe there we go that's pretty let's see yeah that's a cute little setup okay and then i don't know we don't have much right now but we could put some crystals in these cases just because i think that would look fun so Let's go ahead and do that. That's why I put these here. Um, this lot did come unfurnished. So I, well, that's actually a lie because the vet's office was furnished. Let's see what this says. It begins. Nothing beats the feeling of crushing that final boss level. Whenever Andy is gaming, Andy is... <laughs> Andy is as one with the universe. Is it safe to say she likes video gaming? I would say that she would enjoy some video gaming. This little setup is fun though. I, oh wow, we have 10 of those. I did decorate some of this. <laughs> I decorated the crystal shop, but not the vet's office. Sorry guys, I just finished editing like the first portion of this video and now I feel like I'm rusty on talking. <laughs> so just bear with me. Um, but anyways, this is pretty much set up as of right now. So we're good to go with that. But I did say, oh, she she's taking care of her business, so I'm not going to invade on in her privacy. But I did say I wanted to go ahead and take care of her checkings and savings so let's go ahead and manage accounts and her checking account will go ahead and oh i did set up the direct deposit so 50 percent of her retail income will go into direct deposit um or will be direct deposited into her checking account and then the other 50 percent will go into her, her savings account but initially, I don't want to put as much into her um, checking account as I do her savings account. So let's go ahead and do... Why can't I figure this out? I think it... Maybe it is transfer. No, transfer from. Transfer from household funds to checking account. There we go. So let's just do... Hmm... Let's just do like 10k. That's probably good. Yeah. And then make another transfer from her household funds to savings account. And let's just go ahead and put everything else in there. And then the other money that we had from the loan and everything, like I said, that was already deducted and put into her like business account i guess you would call it so let's see that should be here yes business funds we have 2500 
so that is all settled i'm so excited i think we have this little thing from ravishing to oh create unique retail businesses i don't know what that means actually oh it's just to name your store and describe it we'll definitely do that eventually but not at the moment um set oh we should set store prices pricey let's do pricey yeah this is hard work okay and oh that's fun we can like store stuff in here snoop let's do that i want to see what that looks like <laughs> and eventually we'll have to like hire employees and all of that too um i think you can just do it without an employee um which is what i probably will do for a while but okay what does this look like oh that's it okay well <laughs> I probably would have done more snooping than that. Alright you guys, I just realized how long this video has become and I definitely need to put a stop to it because I don't want it to be too long for you guys. But definitely let me know if you want to see more of Andy and her crystal experience. <laughs> um, there's so many ideas I have for her so I would love to continue sharing her story if you guys are interested. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys!